Well, Sky Sports have gone ahead to confirm to us that United are interested in signing Declan Rice. Welcome to United Matters Channel as we discuss the goalkeeper situation of Manchester United, David Raya, David Hare and <coughs> Diego Costa with a United Portuguese player known as Diego Dallo coming in through and we're referring to us as to how he has gone ahead to grow with this player known as Diego Costa and whether he thinks he's going to come to Manchester United in the summer. That's it. It's been our second video of the day and I thank God that I'm really getting back energy to talk back to you because you guys deserve it. And here I am to bring you the latest news and information as far as Manchester United is concerned. And I promise you, with the energy that the Lord is giving back to me, one more video is left. Three videos are going to be done today on the United Matters channel and the Rokani Media Football. So, let's go eyes onto this. Sky Sports have gone ahead to give us the following story about Declan Rice. That Manchester United are interested in signing Declan Rice. West Ham value the midfielder at £120 million, although they would also accept £100 million and a player for him. Arsenal is the most likely destination for Rice at the moment. That is Sky Sports. Now, who is Declan Rice? Declan Rice is a central defense midfielder who plays for West Ham and is 24 years of age. <clears throat> He's one of those players that the English media is so much proud of as a CDM and has gone ahead to really put out performances this season that have gone ahead to be to be mouth-watering. And as we speak, he's really one of those players that Arsenal is looking at. And uh, from nowhere this time around, we've seen a story coming in from Sky Sports linking Declan Rice to Manchester United. And um, I saw this coming. How did I see this coming? <clears throat> when I saw Declan Rice put up a performance against Manchester United on Sunday like that, that saw us lose by one goal to nil to West Ham, I understood that the next evening or the next morning, a story was going to be put out that United is interested in Declan Rice. I still have my reservations as to why I don't really believe United is in for Declan Rice. One, Eric Ten Hag as a manager has gone ahead to make <clears throat> a centre forward as his priority signing this summer. <laughs> That's it. Meaning that there is no way he's going to spend £100 million on Declan Rice or £8 million on Declan Rice before he gets in a centre forward. That's it. Ten Hag's priority signing this season is going to be a world-class centre forward. All <clears throat> that striker might not be world class but he might be the next benzema he might be the next hurricane he must be the next <clears throat> Lewandowski. that's it so i think united is so much linked to victor oshman hurricane diego costa hojland and very many others and i see no way we are going to spend more than 200 million pounds this summer that's it i understand ten Hag was told, was told that you have to sell to buy but even if he sells Harry Maguire, Scott McTominay, Fred, um, Brandon Williams, <coughs> which other player? <coughs> Sorry about that. Fred, and very many others because we went ahead to count seven. Eric Bay, <coughs> Alex Tellez, you know, the list is really endless. We have close to seven players that Eric Ten Hag can sell to really provide himself with money to spend. We all know that United has 100 million pounds to spend, meaning that he cannot spend it on a central defense midfielder, yet he wants a center forward, meaning that he's going to go in for center forward. And secondly, I see no reason as to why Eric Ten Hag would go all out to find himself in a position of signing an English CDM of 25 years of age, yet he cannot go out and really outcompete um, Casemiro, the player that you are having as a CDM at Manchester United. And trust me, Casemiro has proven that he's not is not injury prone and he can play game in game out meaning that Ten Hag will will <coughs> will vie for a player who can play as a CDM and uh, and a number 8 or a box to box midfielder in the summer so i see no reason as to why Declan Rice is linked to Manchester United and if at all you know how this transfer business is done you very well understand that it's all about the agent of Declan Rice putting out such a story to see to it that West Ham get the amount of money that they really deserve. Even West Ham can find themselves in a position of portraying out this story to the media to see to it that 
Arsenal <coughs> gets threatened because a team that would have gone ahead to counter Arsenal, that is Chelsea, the club that Declan Rice supports, Chelsea is in the limbo. That's it. We all know that Chelsea is in shambles and they're not going to play in the Champions League. Declan Rice can't let this chance of him playing in the Champions League go out. And when you look at the project of Arsenal, he just suits into the starting eleven of Arsenal immediately. That is Declan, Declan Rice for you. So I see no reason as to why they can't link him to Manchester United because they know what it means. <clears throat> If you want to know how big United is, let your player not be linked to Manchester United and you'll see his attention, you know, <clears throat> his attention on the news making in the due course to his signing very, very little. That's it. He won't be so much in the news. The moment the players link to Manchester United, they really understand how good it is. And there are lots of reasons you can, there is one reason that you can come out and be portray as far as Declan Rice to Manchester United is concerned. That is what we call the home best players. But <clears throat> I don't see us going in for a player like, like Declan Rice. That's it. Those stories continue to come in from Sky Sports News that <clears throat> West Ham have promised they will not stand in the way of Declan Rice's dream of playing in Champions League football if a suitable offer is made. So, 80 to 100 million pounds the amount of money that that uh that uh west ham <coughs> do want from declan rice <laughs> that's it but you ask me is declan rice worth 80 million pounds or 100 million pounds no way that's why i come out and really say eric ten hag won't allow such forgery to happen at manchester united he'll tell them please they are players i can go ahead and really sign that can play in the single pivot very very well and talent that Declan Rice at a cheap amount of money you know <clears throat> the board of United would like to go ahead and be the push for very many players but Ten Hag will say no I don't want that player now lastly Declan Rice is believed to be earning 70,000 pounds a week and he would be expected to earn at least three times as as if he moves this summer now that is another hindrance for Declan Rice I think United want to tame their wage bill because it's really going to be high if at all you qualify for the Champions League. Something I know it's a given for us. If at all we win against Wolverhampton Wanderers, Chelsea and Fulham, <clears throat> that's it for Manchester United. So I found myself in a situation of knowing what this is all about. And we've gone ahead to put out very many performances as a club of Manchester United <clears throat> with a CDM like Casemiro, who is the best in the world. And... Um, Ten Hag doesn't want to bring in a player who is going to go ahead and really get in that huge amount of money. That's it. So, I think we'll go in for CDM of like 40 million pounds who can accept like 100 million, sorry, who can accept like 100 and 100, 150 million pounds. That's it. So, for Declan Rice, I mean, him being like Manchester United, it's something I'm not yet <clears throat> assured of that Declan Rice is going to be signed by Manchester United. Financially, <clears throat> it's one of the things that I don't really see happening. And I see Eric Ten Hag so much going in for players like Esido than Declan Rice. <laughs> that's it. So let's wait and see how that's going to happen. <clears throat> and uh, we will find ourselves in a position of knowing who is in, who is out on the 1st of June this season. Now, the goalkeeper situation is really getting tense at Manchester United and Midis United going in and really offering <coughs> David Deha a contract that David Deha has gone ahead to accept. Now, I've been told by Telegraph Dhaka, a correspondent of United for the, <coughs> for the Telegraph, that Man United are one of Brentford goalkeeper. Man United are one of Brentford goalkeeper David Raya's many admirers and they have also looked at Diego Costa, among others, a decision a decision also has to be made on the future of Dean Henderson. United seem likely to try to cash in on David De Gea, sorry, on, on Dean Henderson, who wants to be a first choice goalkeeper. And I've gone ahead to understand that Dean Henderson wants to be a first choice goalkeeper, but there is a boost that has gone ahead to help Eric Ten Hag for not going out to sign a goalkeeper in the summer. Do you know why? <clears throat> he has underwent surgery and is expected to return towards the end of August. And towards the end of August, it will be. It will be one of those 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 months that the <clears throat> transfer window will be coming to a close and selling him is going to be hard. That's it. Factually, selling Dean Henderson to a club that's going to get us the amount of money that we want is going to be very hard. 
when you look at the clubs that are interested in him, <coughs> that is, mm, that is, uh, mm, Nottingham Forest, I think if at all they stay, they might keep him. They might want to sign him. Spurs is searching for a very good goalkeeper. They are also in for David Raya and Dean Henderson. So, we are waiting to see whether these other teams are really coming in through <coughs> to the Premier League. We'll go all out and really sign in a player known as Dean Henderson. But, I see it as something very hard. Unless otherwise, Middlesbrough comes to the league. I think there, Michael Carrick will go all out and sign Dean Henderson. But, if those factors <coughs> don't come out like that i don't see him signing for another club so we might see him start Manchester united that is dean anderson so that is where the likes of david raya and uh david raya and diego costa come out of the equation david raya 30 million pounds is one of those goalkeepers that united is interested in but <laughs> you cannot come around really let me know that united is really willing to go all and really pay that amount of money for the goalkeeper with the financial problems you're having Unless otherwise, Chef Jessim Althani comes in through Tokyo Manchester United, that's when we can come out and find ourselves in a situation of buying those goalkeepers. When you look at Leeds, there is having Melier, 19 year old goalkeeper. Everyone is talking about Melier, and we all understand how good Melier is and how he can come out and really act well for the club of Manchester United. That is Melier. So, to me, I believe if at all <coughs> Leeds are relegated, right if at all leads are relegated to the championship melier would like to really sign for a premier league club and very many clubs would be interested in him and united are one of those teams that are really interested in melier and i think when we bring in melier he will come in through and really offer direct competition to david de Gea. so i see very many other goalkeepers that we can sign and i see nowhere we are signing a goalkeeper more than 20 million pounds that's it because we are having one of the best goalkeepers in the world. He has gone ahead to keep many clean sheets this season. That is David De Gea. And Ten Hag believes in him. So, if I thought Ten Hag never believed in him, he wouldn't have gone ahead to really offer him a new contract. Because those are the five players Ten Hag told the board to really clear their contracts before the start of the summer transfer window. Luke Shaw, Rashford, Garnacho, <coughs> David De Gea, and Diego Dallo. So, those five players, their contracts have to be done and dusted by by the board so <clears throat> ten hag and blind during the training sessions he has always told us that he's a better ball distributor and you've seen him improve on several occasions so we can't wait to see that happening in between david de Gea and eric ten hag so to me for diego costa <clears throat> i find it hard for him because he has it he has an asking price on him that is worth 80 million euros that is like 70 million pounds and trust me in the situation in which we are in the goalkeeper is the least wanted player at the club of Manchester United. Unless otherwise, there is a goalkeeper who is up for free. That's when we find ourselves in a position of signing a goalkeeper like that. But we cannot spend that huge amount of money on a goalkeeper. And now, <clears throat> Dalo on Diego Costa, the goalkeeper of FC Porto, he said he shows at FC Porto that he's a differential goalkeeper and has helped the club a lot if he continues there i'll be extremely happy if he leaves i hope he has the greatest success in the world that is diego jota talking about diego costa remember by the time um by the time united signed signed Diego Jota. Diego Jota found himself in a position of playing for FC Porto and we signed him at the age of 18 and they were in the same team with Diego Costa. So by then Diego Costa had not yet made his debut for the FC Porto club team but he's gonna hate to impress and I like the goalkeeper but you can't tell me that you're going to spend 70 million pounds on a goalkeeper when you're still having David De Gea. I think the only way you will get in a goalkeeper of 80 million of 8 million euros is when you're not having David De Gea. No player can be benched by a manager who has gone ahead to buy him at that match. 80 million euros, 70 million pounds. No way you can bench such a goalkeeper or a player. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. Rock and David remains my name. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I sign out for now. See you later and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I'm out. Bye-bye.